Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, My Sports Schematria. Just kind of want to go over a pattern of what I've been doing with uh, coaches. This one isn't a college basketball game like the other two, uh, the Iowa and Penn State. But this one is specifically on the Thunder coach uh, for NBA. So you're looking at the screen. Uh, what you're looking at is, this is what I call my daily numbers on my left side. And then my game numbers on my right side. Uh, daily numbers consist of the Gregorian calendar, date numerology, as well as the Hebrew calendar, both sides, and date numerology. And then game numbers for NBA in the middle here is the head-to-head -head record. Up top here is the away team, which is the Kings, and this is their coach record. This is their season record. And at the bottom here is the home team season record coach record so we're going to focus on the thunder and the thunder coach follows the hebrew calendar and really the team kind of aligned with the hebrew calendar uh, two days in a row in their back-to-back -back games the first one against the kings and then the second one against the bucks uh, you probably don't don't really need gamacho or date numerology to know that the bucks would beat the thunder um, but they're still still fun <laughs> so on uh, uh, thursday when the Thunder faced the Kings, it was the 151st day of the year on the Hebrew Civil Calendar. And I actually made a post about this on my Patreon. I said NBA teams have a little bit of Hebrew have a little bit of Hebrew in them. And I mentioned the Thunder were coming into the season with thirty six or coming into this game with thirty six wins. You know, 151st day of the Hebrew Civil Calendar, 151, the 36 prime, but at the same time, their coach was sitting on 151 regular season losses. So which one popped? Did the 36 stay or did the 151 stay? Um, and, you know, so I ultimately went with Thunder. So Thunder came in with 36 wins on the season. The coach, the Thunder, had 151 regular season losses, it being the 151st day on the Hebrew Civil Calendar. And mathematics tells us that 151 is the 36th prime number. Um, so what had happened is the Thunder coach stayed on 151 regular season losses. What's fascinating is that the Thunder uh, became 20 and 12 for a home record on the season, 20 and 12, as a 2 1 2 in there. And on the Hebrew religious calendar, it was the second day of the 12th month, 2 1 2. 2 1 2, the 151st day of the year, the 36 prime. Thunder come in with 36 wins. Their coach comes in with 151 losses. He stays at 151. They bounce to three, 37th win, 37 wins, and they become 12. Or 2012 for a home record on 2 of 12. And then the next day, we see that it's the third day of the sixth month on the Hebrew Civil, like 36, the 152nd day of the year. And again, they played a back to back game. So the next day, they play, or today, they play the Thunder. And guess what the coach did? He got his 152nd loss regular season. So yesterday against the Kings, he stayed on 151 on the 151st day of the year on the Hebrew Civil, the 36th prime. And then on the 152nd day of the year on the Hebrew Civil, the third day of the sixth month, 151, the 36th prime, he gets his 152nd regular season loss. And I made a post about this as well on Patreon. The Battle of the Gregorian and Hebrew Calendar. Uh, it was originally called, Will Thunder Continue the Hebrew? Two days in a row, which they did. Um, yeah, so it's just like the college coaches. It goes on in the NBA as well. These are patterns that you just pick up on. You know, when you have your daily numbers on one side, game numbers on the other side, you pick up on these patterns. And, you know, you're not perfect. It's not a perfect science. You're not a computer. You can't analyze everything as perfect as you may want to. But doing this time and time again, and you can see in my videos, these patterns are here. And a lot of it comes from the Hebrew calendar.